All right. And Oh, YouTube Skip the Wolf here, back at you with another video for your viewing pleasure. Today we're going to be listening to the Black Map album that just came out, or is coming out on Friday, uh, Melodoria, and also the new Three, Day, Three Days Grace track that also came out today from their album Explosions that comes out pretty soon. So we're going to listen to both those things. Uh, let's get, get right into it, the new Three Days Grace track with Lucas Rossi. Rossi, whatever his name is. Yeah. All right. It's on. Yeah, all right, so that was the new threes. I just heard that song, um, Neurotic by Three Days Grace. And <clears throat> yeah, it's okay, but it's an okay song. It's nothing special or anything like that. Like, I think I kind of like so-called like, so life a little bit better, but it... It's fine, I guess. So, yeah, that was just that. But now we're listening to the Black Map album. And one note, I did hear the song Super Deluxe, I think. 
before that and the song Chasms before that too because the album got delayed. Um, if you don't remember, it got delayed and the songs Chasm and Super Deluxe were tracks that I had already heard before. So, um, so this isn't going to be very long either because I already heard Chas Chasms and Super Deluxe. You know, let me check if I've heard Super Deluxe. Because I remember hearing Super Deluxe because they pulled it off of Spotify. That was the track they pulled off of Spotify. Like, I already heard Chasms. I'm just going to skim through this in Super Deluxe. Yeah. Yeah, I heard this one. Yeah. They released that on Spotify. So it's going to be from Nothing Over Me down to the title track, which is eight tracks that I haven't heard yet from the album. I think I've done both on a music listening night. I've done, I heard both songs on a new listening, the two that I heard. I didn't hear Witching Hour or Left for Dead, but I heard the other tracks. So Take a listen. Hopefully, it's as good as In Droves, which was their last album, which I thought was pretty good. Very good, in fact. It was one of my favorite albums of that year. So, we are live now. We're starting to play the music on speakers due to copyrights. Uh, and I'm also going to be drawing as well. And this time, I actually put it in the thumbnail, so you probably know that's what's going to happen. So, anyway, on to the songs. Let's. Yeah, hopefully I don't have somebody come in the room like last week. I just thought I'd bring that out again because, like, there's just somebody who came in the room last week to tell me something. Hope that doesn't happen tonight. Probably won't. This album's short. I'm just saying we're like almost at the end of nothing over me. We're going into capture the flag, which is next. So far, so good.
I'm already writing the review for this because I figured why not. So, yeah.
All right. And that was the end of the new Black Map album, Meldoria. Comes out tomorrow, actually. Um, and it's available on any streaming platform. And it's available on CD, sadly, because this is a band that is on a minor label and they're not super big. You will not find this in stores or any, or maybe a record store or something like that. You'll have to find this on Amazon if you want a physical copy of it. And yeah, if you, you're interested in Black Maps Melodoria, then definitely get it. Um, here is my opinion of this album. Um, and this is just a first reaction um, after hearing it. And, like, this album is definitely not nearly as good as Endroves is. I still feel like Endroves is better than this album. But I feel like I was a little bit less invested in this album than Endroves. But, I mean, this album still has some resounding moments on it, like, Especially towards the end there. I mean, they're not tracks that were like mind blowing or anything. They're not like, wow, this is fantastic or anything. They're just generally generally like, yeah, that's good. That's good. I'll listen to that every now and then and be like, yeah, that's a great song. You know, like yeah, compared to In's Robes, when I when I came in blind and I was just like with this album, I pretty much knew what it was going to be, and I had a good time. I definitely had a good time. It could be on my list of the best albums of the year. When, the, like, maybe I wouldn't say top ten necessary or top five, especially not. We'll see if this holds up as well throughout, as well as In Droves did, like. And even and we explode. Like I'm not counting the EP in this because that's just an EP. I'm counting the um, studio albums. Like, uh, in droves is definitely like I'm not trying. Like, I'm trying to avoid comparing albums because like one, this is a younger band, and two, like uh, I I don't know if that's the way to like review an album by like using one album to like compare it to another album or something like that, but I think that Black Maps Melodoria is a tad bit weaker and it also goes by pretty fast. Like it's it is basically no effort whatsoever to get through the album, but I mean you have a good time doing it. That that's definitely good. you're not like angry or anything like that. Like because Black Map the writing's good on it. Um the performances are all good. The guitar work is good. Like I feel like if there were some extra songs, if there was like two more songs or something added, then maybe um then maybe it would be like better, slightly better. It's already good, but I feel like if they really like pushed themselves, I can understand the direction they were going with this, but like if they pushed themselves and maybe had like two extra tracks added there that were maybe more Maybe a bit stronger than, like, they had a song like No Color or Octavia or Fox Glove or something like that on there. Then maybe this album would have been, like, amazing. Like, it is good, amazing. Yeah, but it's not, like, super amazing, like, just the of the most high, the highest level you could possibly imagine. That was in droves. And I feel like Black Map, you know, like, you know, Black Map is definitely going to be around for what I hope they can progress well because, like, and, you know, it's okay if in droves ends up being their best album when their career is all done and all that stuff. Like, that's going to be just fine, but. If they don't top in droves, that's fine. But like you know, like yeah, I'm very I'm pleased with this album. I'm definitely 
thumbs up on this album. Um, definitely recommended. If you like any of the bands, if, this is a super group. If you like Dread, if you like Far, if you like Trophy Fire, if you like some of their influences, even Deftones, Chevelle, any of those bands, of course this album would be up my league. It's inspired by those bands, which are two of my favorite bands of all time. But, yeah, um, rating, I would have to go with a light eight. Uh, I would have to say letter grade would be B. I'm doing letter grades now. Uh, I'm just going to type that in to the list that I have here, eight out of ten. Um, this is my current grade right now. It could change at any time during the year. And, of course, the placement of this album on the list could change at any time in the year. So keep that in mind as well because, like, not – you could think, like, something's, like, super high in the best of list, the best list or whatever, and then it ends up at, like, a number 21 or something at the end of the year. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Like, so, yeah, Black Map, Melodoria, thumbs up for me on this album. Definitely give it a listen. Give this band some support, if you will. So, um, I don't know why I did that, but whatever. So, um, I'm just going to do a run-through of some, not listen to them, but just some of the other stuff that was released this week on the release radar. There's a band, a, a lot of this is unknown. I mean, we already know Three Days Grace, but um, there's a band called The Vision of Blaze with Embers. Like That could have been released this week. I don't know much about that band. There's a um, band called S I F Y N Siphon Siphon Siphon. I think it's Siphon. It's a weird spelling of it. With they released an album, but like for some reason, there's a single on the release radar, not an album. So they just released an album. This is their first one as well. They're not on a big label or anything. They're not huge. I skimmed through it before this video. It was fine. The uh, Profiler has a new song coming out. I already heard um, Identify and uh, one of the other songs. So I'm very excited, but I'm just I'm not going to listen to it right away because like my commitments to not listen to anything that's past two tracks. There's a new song from a band called Nucleus. I don't know what that's all about. No Eye Has Seen has an album coming out. Um, I'm just going backwards. Or an EP, actually, not an album. And then we also have Johari, who released a cover of the song Montero. Just recently, I don't know. Um, Destroy, rebuild until God shows. Drugs um, has an album or a new song. First one in a while, and <clears throat> Bring Me the Horizon has a song from a video game coming out. Turismo Seven, Gran Turismo Seven. And Awakeness, and not many of these. And also another big band, 10 Years, is releasing acoustic versions of their songs. There's going to be like a full album of them coming out. I'm not going to do that on the stream because that's an acoustic. I did the Demon Hunter last year. I don't know about the 10 Years one, to be honest. So whatever. So, yeah, that's pretty much for that. And anyway... um. While we're still streaming, I'm going to get some things off of my chest. Um, First off, I know I said at the beginning of this year that I was going to do something on DeviantArt where it was like a Coliseum type thing, like review show, where it was going to be like one album up against another album. But I have not been motivated enough to do anything review-wise. The fact that I just sort of thought, oh, hey, I was going to do the black map. I was going to write stuff about the Black Map album, and I'm like three paragraphs in somewhat, is a miracle because, like, I don't know. 
I don't know. I'm just not in the biggest mood to like write reviews and stuff like that. But that'll change. I hope that really does change because I have an album talk in the works that could be up sometime in April because the one the albums that I have on the list are not out and I hope they come out. Um, and not everything that I hear is going to be on the album talk. Like I'm not going to put like Slash's album on there or I'm not going to put um, the new Will to Run album on there or, or anything because I didn't have as much of an opinion on that as other people. I liked it, but I didn't have as much an, of an opinion on it. So, like, um, yeah. So, there's that. Well, man, I'm so glad that it wasn't that long. Cold of Luna's album last week was like super long. Like, but it was good. It was really good. The Cold of Luna album, very good. Definitely one of the best albums of the year so far. And also, so is Rolo Tomasi's album, Where Myth Becomes Memory. But I did not listen to that on stream. I listened to that last week by because I saw Rock giving some hype for the album. And then I decided to listen to it. So, there we go. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. And also, um, I'm, I'm just going to try to do this every single time we do one of these streams. A uh, preview of my art, if you're following me on DeviantArt. Um, I'm developing a new project. This is what I'm working on right here. These two, these three characters here. And then behind here is another set of characters for it right here, as you can see. So if you're following me on DeviantArt, definitely guess you can definitely get a sneak peek of what I'm doing here because now that I have the wide angle wide angle lens, I can totally like do this. Um I did preview some last week and some of those aren't up yet on DeviantArt. So and I also have one unfinished one that's coming up. I only did like a little bit of it. Um if you can see that very well, this webcam is not very good. That's one of my characters performing a song or something. Like. And also, I have a LA Rams picture coming up. Because the LA, surprisingly enough, because I'm not into sports as much, but because the LA Rams one, this is what it is. Right here, it's my Color Squirrels project. It's my just a uh, personal project, of course. Don't know. So that's that. That's what it is. I have to just get the lines darker enough. Or, you know, sorry about the paper and stuff. Like I just have to get the lines darker on that one. So that's pretty much what it is. So expect that sometime this weekend, or if not this weekend, any other time would do. So yeah, I think I'm going to edit here. So next week we have Bad Omens, The Death of Peace of Mind that comes out next week. And I was initially not as excited for it. I was thinking it would be another Wage War or another uh, that Bring Me the Horizon album, Amo. I was, I was thinking it would probably be one of those or the and I Prevail or something like that. But after hearing Artificial Suicide, I got to say... I'm definitely more anticipating the album than I was. And I think they just released another song as well. I could be wrong about that, but like... Yeah, so uh, Bad Omens and Death of Peace of Mind comes out next week. And the week after that, I don't think anything else will be coming out. It'll actually be the one-year anniversary of me doing this every night. And also... Um, we have albums Wolves at the Gate, North Lane, Meshuga. We have um, uh, Shinedown coming out, Three Days Grace, Hailstorm, all coming out, Porcupine Tree, and many, many others coming out. So be on the lookout for all those when they get listened to. And some of them might not get listened to on stream. Some of them will. So anyway, this is been it for the night it's been good to do this so 
Let me know what you think of Black Map down in the comment section down below and the new Three Days Grace song also in the comments. This is Scamp the Wolf signing out. Take care.